For more than 20 years, he lived in the shadows. Today, though, Mahmoud al mapus face is a familiar sight on the streets of his native Gaza. He was born in 1960 here at the Jabalia refugee camp, where the first Palestinian uprising began and where his parents still live today. We were afraid for him. We knew he was going to be murdered. We were expecting this to happen at any moment. It's 22 years since he left, since he's been pursued. We knew that one day he'd become a martyr. From an early age, Mapu's life seemed destined to be entwined with Hamas. At 18, he joined the movement's forerunner, the Muslim Brotherhood. Later, he helped to found the armed wing of Hamas, his links to the group landing him several sentences in Israeli prisons in the 1980s. The turning point came, though, in 1989, when he was involved in the kidnapping and killing of two Israeli soldiers. Wanted by Israel, Mapu fled to Syria, where he began a new life. He would never see his family again. On the rare occasions he called, Mapu gave little away. He was a businessman. He had a big knitwear company in Syria. He used to travel and bring back supplies for his business. It's possible that he did other things that we didn't know about. Details of his role in Hamas are still emerging, though the group admits Mapu helped supply Gaza-based militants with weapons. Mapu himself claimed he'd survived three assassination attempts, thanks to keen intuition that earned him the nickname The Fox. In January, though, that intuition failed him, and his death is now the focus of an international investigation.